Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 2 0 win over Weymouth in the National League South. Adam, two wins on a bank holiday weekend. Doesn't get much better than that. No, I don't. Um, four goals, two clean sheets in, in a matter of days. Um, but also, I think good good performances as well. Um, you know, we created a lot of chances. Uh, I think in the two games, Rocco's made an outstanding save there um, you know, to keep the clean sheet. Um, but other than that, he hasn't been overly, overly troubled. A um, couple of bits where maybe it's ourselves causing ourselves some problems and, and playing to the wrong areas, but we're going to get that. Um, just ask. You know, everyone to, to be patient with us while we try to, to get it right and um, you know I think when we do get it right we can be a threat going the other way so no it's good and um, yeah lots of um, players on, on the way back um, there's going to be real competition for places next week going away to Braintree tough place to go and you know getting the squad together which is it's, it's good and it's going to be uh, a tough some tough decisions to make uh, but that's what you want as a manager. And speaking of those tough decisions, uh, Sonny Fish, your first goal for him today, the loanee from Crawley. How do you think he got on today? No, yeah, I thought, you know, real glimpses. I just wanted a bit more sort of presence up there that um, you know, if teams do come man to man for us, that, you know, um, him and Greg, they can play into, uh, Sonny and Greg, and, you know, they can both hold the ball up and, and give us, move us up the pitch, maybe bypass six of their players, uh, and we're left with a 4v4 and 3v3 and you know they dropped in well, he dropped in well but also a threat in the box and you know I'm really really happy that he's got on the score sheet today. Who else on the pitch impressed you today? What was the stand up performance? Um, I've got to say I think the day has been you know exceptional in both both the games over over this bank holiday period and you know he's got real competition in there. Um, we rested Michael on, on Saturday and give him a start today. Um, Ricky can play a bit deeper. We've got Kane coming back. Finney Chavik can play in there as well, a bit deeper. Um, you know, Jesse Starkey was he was back today and um, he, he's going to be able to join in training now as well. So, you know, some real competition in, in that area. Um, and yeah, he just, I like what he brings. He's, he's quite an industrious type player. Picks up loads of second balls and I think, you know, a real player that we we need in our team, you know, you need that warrior in there as well, um, you know, to allow the others to play. Um, but you know, he's good on the ball as well, so I thought, you know, I thought he was excellent in the two games, and you know, the two second halves have played very well to, to keep the clean sheets. Yeah, it felt like the team was in pretty good control, so they didn't seem in too much threat other than the the one save that Rocco had to make that was a fantastic start. That really was, but I felt like the team was in control of the whole game today. No, yeah, I, I, similar to Dover, I thought that. You know, the second goal seems to take forever to come and we had some chances. Um, I think Miki went through and, and Sonny had another opportunity with his left foot they put over. Um, so we could have, you know, got that second goal a little bit earlier to make the game a little bit more comfortable in my opinion. Um, but, you know, we can't be too critical. Um, you know, it's a 10, 10 15 leave on, on a Saturday to get down to Dover. We had a nightmare with the coach. Um, so we turned up late um, and then to then dust yourself down and, and give the performance that we've given in, in over the course of the two days is, you know, you can't praise the, the players highly enough for that. I um, thought they've been superb and um, yeah, they're, they're in a good place and we just want to keep the games rolling and like I say, a real tough, tough fixture next Saturday. Real tough place to go, um, but one that we'll we'll certainly look forward to. And a fantastic day overall today as well. Great crowds on a bank holiday Monday. Normal yeah. turnout. It was, it's what things should be like here. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm pleased that the the players, you know, they're, they're doing really well. We're in a good position in the league, and you know, I hope that the the supporters are enjoying the, the football we're playing. I think we're creating some chances, and um, you know, we don't always get it right, um, but you know. When we do, I think it's it's it's, it's good and, and enjoyable to watch, and I'm hoping that they really enjoyed their day out as well. The, the, the weather was nice, and you know you want these players, um, you want the supporters to come back and be behind us because um, if they can do that as well, um, you know we really need to create something special here and, and make this a tough place to come. And um, you know I'm just del delighted that the players got the the reward with the, the turnout of the crowd, um, and you know long may that continue. Um, we get good following, but I think we only scratch the surface of the size of the town and what we could get um, here. And yeah, we just want to keep building on that as well.